I don't know about you, but I have the hardest time coming up with new ideas for content for this YouTube channel, for my weekly newsletter that you can subscribe to, by the way, in the, the description or blogs on my website, or sometimes I just get stuck and I don't have any ideas at all. Recently, I was on a Zoom call with a client and she mentioned the idea of trying to come up with a way to get ideas for content out of her meetings with her clients. And I thought it was a brilliant idea. So what I did is I actually built that and I take summaries from Zoom calls and I run them through ChatGPT two different times. One of them is to create YouTube video ideas and the second is to create newsletter ideas and I save those to my Evernote second brain. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to be using Simbly AI, which is the note taker I currently use. And the reason is it's because I can automate it easily using make. So I'm here in Simbly and I'm going to show you really quick how to set up a webhook. The first thing you'll have to do is come over to make and create a custom webhook module. That is going to be the trigger for your automation. And what you'll do is add it here. Once you've added it, you'll copy the address of that webhook. And then you're going to go over here to Simbly. I'm going to click on my automations custom, and I'm going to add a new automation and you can send three different types of data from Simbly. You can send the meeting notes, which is what I send when I do this to do's and tasks or the entire transcription. I'm just going to send the meeting notes. So I'll click on meeting notes. And we've got the meeting notes. You can filter if you want to. And then the destination you would add is your webhook for make right here and click done. It's a pretty easy setup. And then what happens is every time an event is completed in Simbly, you'll get data to your make scenario. Let's see what that looks like real quick. But first, I want to let you know this part is in a different video. If you want to watch the video of how I take the meeting summaries and send them to Google Calendar and Evernote and Gmail, then you can check out this video to see what that's like. All right, we're going to jump into the automation, but I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name is Andy O'Neill, and I help entrepreneurs like you add time-saving automation to their business. If you would like to sign up for my weekly newsletter or see the different no-code tools I use in my freelance life, just check out the description. Also, Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Consider subscribing if you like content like this. And tell me what you think in the comments. I love to get comments from people who've watched the video and have questions or comments about that. Now back into Make. We're going to look at this bottom section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these on, enable routes. And let me walk through what this does a little bit. Uh, first, first thing we're going to do is we have our webhook here. I'm going to right click and run this module only. And I'm going to go to Postman. I'm going to send the data from Postman to test it. Normally it would come from Simbly after a meeting, but I don't have to create a meeting every time to do this. If you want to deep dive into using Postman for testing webhooks, check out this video and it goes in more detail than I'm going to do in this video. So I'm going to hit send to send that data over here. It's already here. It goes very quickly. So here are meeting notes. Uh, we're not going to use participants or anything for this. So what we've got here is we've got a chat GPT module, and this is going to be create a compilation. I'm going to do create a chat compilation. I'm going to use chat GPT four, and then I've got some, and I've got some prompts here that are going to create my newsletter ideas. This other route here will be very similar and it's going to create my YouTube video ideas. So right here, we're going to say we're going to do a system prompt. So next is the user. And so we're going to say analyze this text and I'm not going to read all of this to you, but we're going to say analyze this text to find newsletter ideas. And then we're giving them the output I want. I want a JSON output for multiple items because then I can automate it further down the line with make. And then next, we're going to say here are the meeting notes. What that looks like, it goes through this router, which is really not necessary. I'll just simplify this a little bit here. And then we're going to parse the results. So in that case, we're going to have, you know, four, five, six, seven different results. We're going to parse those out and we can then add those to Evernote, which is what this step is here. Every once in a while, the JSON will not be accurate for some reason or another from OpenAI. So I just put an ignore here. 
if, if every once in a while I miss ideas from a meeting, that's fine. This isn't like critical to my business. It's just kind of helping me along. Same for Evernote. If it has an error, I'm just going to say ignore because we're going to be adding a lot of things to this. Evernote, uh, it's simple. I'm putting it in a notebook called Newsletter Ideas. I'm putting the title and the content, which is uh, this right here, giving it a tag of Newsletter Ideas. Similar thing right down here. I've got a similar prompt, except it's talking about YouTube videos. Also parsing in a JSON, Evernote, uh, sending it to Evernote. Uh, this is going into Newsletter Ideas also but I've got down here a different tag that says AI automation ideas. All right, I'm going to run this and go back over here to Postman and hit send. And we're going to watch this process. Okay, this is completed. Uh, we have six newsletter ideas and six automation ideas or video ideas that have come through here. So let's go over to Evernote and see what those look like. All right, so we've got some suggestions here. This is automation ideas. How to effectively match data in your project task and ID systems. That's a pretty good idea. That'd be a good video uh, for training somebody new to no code. Navigating the complexities of spreadsheet refresh and data mismatch. That'd be another good article. So you can just see we go down here and these are generally never a hundred percent on, but uh, you know, when deciding to run manual systems to avoid potential errors, this is definitely a starting point to get me thinking about what I could write around this. So this video explores the conditions when it's better to resort to a manual run of the system. Despite promoting automation, there are situations where manual intervention can minimize the risk of unwanted errors. This is a great example. This came out of the, the meeting we just processed. And the idea was uh, creating an automation that at the end of the month, someone would go manually run. Uh, it didn't have to run by itself. It still saved tons of time, but it was run on demand rather than being automated. So this was this is a great idea for a video or a newsletter to just talk about the differences and having something run all the time or going and hitting a button to make it run and automate the process. So as you can see, all of these that were generated a minute ago, these are the, the 12 that were generated that are pretty good. Let's look at one more here. How to troubleshoot automated systems for time tracking. Uh, the, again, this came out of this meeting. Uh, we were automating time tracking and we were troubleshooting. Things weren't working right. And we were trying to figure out how to get through things the, through the process. So, you know, this would be like a troubleshooting guide, maybe not just for time tracking, but for automation in general. You know, how do you troubleshoot systems that are automated? So there, this is a great idea where I could take and kind of pivot a little bit and shift a little bit on the idea and maybe write some content or create a video on that. So that's how I've started generating video and newsletter ideas just from the things that I speak and say to clients and things they say back to me from these summaries of meetings, adding them to my second brain so I can go back. I could even search for ideas and that kind of thing. If you would like to see this top row right here, how it runs, how it sends summaries of meetings to the participants and adds it to your second brain. Check out this video and I will do a deep dive in that there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.